So, after the Silent Hill 2 remake, I wanted to go back to play all the Bloober games. <clears throat> At least all the horror ones. They have a couple others that aren't horror, but... I own this, I own Observer, I own Blair Witch, and I own... I think that might be it. I'd like to try a medium, and whatever the new game is, Cronus, or Kronos, um... I never played through any of these. I didn't like Layers of Fear the first time I tried to play it, because to me it was just garbage, jump scare horror, and I fucking hate that shit. And it just seemed like, you know, typical YouTube bait. So I've never even actually watched this game be played all the way through either. But with how incredible the Silent Hill 2 remake was, I thought I should give them a better chance. More of a chance to, you know, see what they are all about and where they come from. Because this was their first horror game, as far as I'm aware. And as far as it shows on Steam. Unless the first two games it shows are also horror games, but I don't think they are. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. So... Yeah, the other thing I didn't like about this game is that you have to literally look in everything. What the fuck? It's an old dog cover. Dog mouth cover. Whatever the hell you call that shit. I don't own a dog anymore, so... Well, I've never owned a dog. My parents had dogs. Bourbon. All right. A man and a man. Scratchy man. But yeah, I hated that you had to interact with every individual fucking little thing. It kind of drove me nuts. I think I played it for maybe an hour, and then I stopped playing. What the fuck was that noise? Well, I know, I know it was a Steam notification, but I don't know what the notification was. I wasn't installing anything. I don't think. But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna take this shit slow. Dear sir, I can't even read this shit from here. We would like to ask you to cease bothering our past... Wait, what? Past control specialist. Oh, okay. As well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. Uh, it'll have you... It'll... What? I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Is that, does that say further? I can't tell. I'm sitting like eight feet away from my TV right now. <laughs> Please treat this letter as a final warning. Or also the next envelope. Oh, good God. Okay. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton. Yeah, it's just the. It's so. It's just small enough and kind of like obscured enough that I can't really read it very well. Hey, this is like the armband that they use in Silent Hill 2. In the hospital. What does that say? Pop. 
Hope gun? Can't read that shit. Okay, see, I remember this area. I remember there being some whole fucking jump scare here. I think that's where I stopped, because I just really hate jump scare horror. I like subtle shit. But just blasting my face with bullshit d doesn't do well for me. I'm already anxious as fuck. I don't need that shit. And I have really sensitive hearing. So like I get I get jump scared by my toaster. <laughs> so having having jump scare horror just I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. It's the only reason I haven't beat Visage yet. Like, the design is really good. The texture work is really good. The modeling is really good. And, like, it's, you know, there's a lot of different stuff. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat, you know. I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snort his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Alright. I wonder who I even am. Am I the dude that everyone hates? Or am I... Wait, what? This place... Oh. I didn't realize this place had electricity somehow. Hmm. So this place is like around the early 1900s then, I assume. V-Sync not on. No, it's on. I guess my computer's just being garbaggio. My computer does not like recording at all. I don't know. I remember there being some shit in here that you had to do. Hmm. Achilles prosthetics. Below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the length? Oh, that's good. This music reminds me of a movie, and I can't remember what movie. I think it's Crash. From like 2004 or whatever. It's ludicrous, isn't it? And Don Cheadley. Okay, well, I feel like I look like Mr. Painter Man, right? Maybe? I mean, I know this is all about a painter. Or whatever. that? Oh! Mouse traps. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Or are those rat traps? Can't tell if they're big enough to be rat traps. Got a rat problem? Call us now. Okay, so they're rat traps, I guess. Forget about it. Excellent. Except at this point in time, pretty sure phone numbers didn't exist yet. Wouldn't you have been using just, like, calling the operator to connect you to people? I guess maybe not. I don't think phone numbers were seven digits either, though, at the time. It's interesting that they know 
that numbers are seven digits here though but in silent hill 2 for some reason the post truck post office truck has uh, a six digit number on it i don't know why <laughs> sir i didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Alright. Well, those are some horrific images. That one's pretty, though. vaguely remember there being a part where you had to use a record player. Well, it was a gramophone. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? Yes. I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. So I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old time's sake. Even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. Dude, that story is a nightmare. Like, it is a nightmare. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. <laughs> your old pal Liam Brickstone. Homie. Kids, uh, kids nursing, nursery rhymes and shit are like some of the worst things ever. They're so fucking morbid. Especially if you see the original versions of them. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me, let's make it special. Alright. Game, the game's lagging. It's chugging a wee bit. Oh. Fine. All night, don't wake me up. Fuck you. Oh, this is exactly what I remember. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disasters fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. Would they have fucking done this? Would they have actually, on a newspaper clipping? Made the formatting this way? I don't feel like they would have. Maybe they do, though. I don't read newspapers. It just seems really poorly formatted. Why not just alter the formatting so you don't have that separation in the word? Couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. I relate to that well. I get sciatica a lot. It's fucking annoying as shit. And it'll last like months on end for me sometimes. Oh. Spooky. Yeah, that's, that's the record though, I remember. Night at the Opera becomes a night to remember. Okay. The room that that's in, though, is just like, it's in the middle of the room, and you have to... 
Okie dokie. Uh, you have to spin the record forwards or backwards to change the environment around you. That's pretty horrific. I hate kids' rooms, man. They're always so creepy. Kids in general are creepy. Toy Soldier. Man, I wonder if kids even play with army men nowadays. Probably not, right? Everyone's like super anti-military nowadays. Trapped. Okay. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done. Before you go to sleep. Huh. Well, nowadays people just do that through text messages. But it is nice, because, you know, don't have to listen to their fucking nagging bullshit. Actually, I'm usually the nagger. <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, but yeah, I'm usually the one, because I do all the fucking cooking and cleaning, and these bitches just sit there watching Grey's Anatomy all day. That's why I don't date anymore. Because I have not met anyone in many years who's actually worth dating. Alright. I was thinking maybe something appeared behind me, but nope. Finish it. You know, it kind of looks like it just says shit at the end there. Lost. You deserve it. Okay. Get it right this time. So yeah, I am playing as the painter, I'm guessing. Tormented by my guilt of killing my fucking wife. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I kind of figured, like, picking up a paintbrush and painting on here would maybe be the thing, but... Uh... I do feel like I remember this having PT elements too, which annoyed the fuck out of me, because you just had to kind of know how to make the story progress. And it was generally pretty random and obtuse and not easy to figure out, but I don't know, dude. I mean, you would think these, one of these notes would be readable. It's got an iron cross. 
obviously not the German Iron Cross. I don't actually know which metal that is. Or where these people are from. Bluber is Polish. But that doesn't really mean anything. Oh. Yeah, so, okay, I was right. It's like that typical shit where it's like, oh, now it's entirely different. Ooh. Spooky ghost story. God, why is this game being such a piece of shit? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I hate. It's really dumb. Like, just create atmosphere. Then your game's scary. Having to do epic startle type bullshit every four minutes is just dumb. Like, they did such a good... It was why I was scared of... Well, not the only reason, but one of the reasons I had no faith in the Silent Hill 2 remake. Because I figured it was just going to have no subtlety. Oh, so his wife was the pianist. Going in circles. I don't like this font shit, too. Like, it's very clearly just a font that they typed on. Rather than physically drawing the shit, which is a thing that they do in Silent Hill 2, which I love. It's not just ta it's not just like go on da font and download spookyfont.exe. Even even though you, it's not an exe file. I don't actually remember. It's like TTT or some shit. Or ATT? I can't I can't remember what the file is for fonts and shit. Luckily, talking removes a lot of the bullshit terror of these jump scare type things. Five, four, eight. It's not terror. It's it's spooky, make my heart explode type shit. And I'm always afraid of having a heart attack, so that's that's why I don't like it. It's literally the main reason. Because my biological father had. Um, three heart attacks at the age of 33 or 34 and I am 33 right now so I'm always terrified of that happening was it 548 I I looked at it twice and I okay I already had forgotten the thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me so will you marry me Huh. That's cheesy as fuck, but the past holds back. Look closer. Uh, never forget 9-11. Spooky chair. Spooky. Kind of reminds me of Demonologist, which is a creepy game, and then once you've seen all the scares, it immediately loses any... Like, Phasmophobia I've played for almost 200 hours, and I find more scary still than Demonologist. Oh. Yep, it startled me. Congrats, game. You startled my poo hole. Dust mice? Even in my lungs? What? Wait, huh? Where did that go? How do I view you again? Mm, okay. Well, that sucks. I don't I don't know how you view memos and shit. Oh my 
my god. Even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am a year ago. All I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. Never been a deeply religious person, I guess. What other people look for in a sermon? I found in perfecting my art. These are the worst punctuations ever. It's so hard to tell whether it's a period or a comma. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now, I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. She has a miscarriage. And then these two break up. Or he kills her out of fucking feeling like she isn't good enough. Guaranteed that's what happens. Blames her for the child dying or some shit. And kills her. Or maybe there's multiple endings, I guess. That could also be the case. <laughs> Holy fucking titties. Mm. Dominoes. I've played that in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's the most recent time I've played dominoes. Who the fuck actually plays dominoes? Oh man, I wish I could see this map better. I could actually give an idea of what year this takes place. Uh... Okay, well, it doesn't take place in the Victorian era, because it's got the current United States. Um, the fuck? India is broken apart. Bangladesh and Pakistan. So this is post-World War II, somehow. I mean, I guess it could be. China is... fully formed. So it's... I mean, it's got Tibet integrated into it. Seemingly. You got Burma, you got the separation of all of Indochina. So this is like 1960s minimum. Indochina was still a thing in the 50s, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that was the whole aspect of the fucking Vietnam War was like separation from the French. Um, wait. Korea is its own country. Is Korea all one country? God, people are going to hate this. Sitting here looking at a fucking map just to try and determine what year it's from. I find this stuff fascinating, though. I really wish I could see it better. It's so hard to really get any decent detail without light. They probably specifically don't want light because they didn't pick a map that's actually relevant to the time period. They probably just grabbed something off of like one of those historical map websites and just slapped it on a fucking sphere. Oh good. Well these people are gonna get angry probably, right? Yeah, okay. Paint deep lies. Now bit to the left. Yes. Just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. Ew. <laughs> it's 
guy's fucking gross. I don't know, he just doesn't sound smooth. He sounds like a fucking weird creep. Uh. Well. Hey, it's the ring. So, is a girl gonna crawl out of there? Oh! Okay, that genuinely got me. That, that definitely got me. See, now I'm gonna, every time I look at something, expect shit to change behind me, though. So that probably only worked maybe once or twice. Uh... Hello? Peekaboo. I see you. I don't see shit. I don't know where I should go. Screeching arsonists, echoing screams. They stop at nothing. All right. Do I leave now? I mean, they do. Oh, yeah, of course. This is different now, right? This is what I fucking hate about this game. Is It's like, okay, well, I just had to magically know that I have to leave that room now. Very PTS bullshit. In regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. Oh, so she did have the baby. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch, and she'd just burst into tears. Just be there for her, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now I know I promised not to rush you. Enjoy your well-deserved time off, but just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up to Ying Yang. It's Yin, not Ying. It's Y-I-N. Yin Yang. Commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Thomas Caldwell. That name sounds familiar. For some reason. I don't know why. There was a real... There's a realtor... Or real estate company here in Ontario called Caldwell Banker. So maybe that's what I'm thinking of, but... The full name seems familiar, though. Okay. I wonder if you actually get t chased or killed by anything in this. So that's the other thing, is, like... I don't know, man. Spooky glass! Why am I limping? Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember, like, because this painting turns into a bunch of fruit or some shit. Or, well, all the vegetables on there turn into actual vegetables and shit, I think. From what I remember. This was basically where I stopped playing. So I was like, okay, so this really is just all the game's gonna be. And yeah, I was right. Garlic. Oh, a knife. Oh, it's a brick wall. Boy, oh boy, is that First, spooky. Free food? I for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Flesh? Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. 
Yeah, I can relate to that. PTSD and the anxiety makes my hands have fucking horrible tremors. Alcohol definitely helps, but alcohol's awful and shitty. Only helps very temporarily. And then it makes it worse once you start coming down off the alcohol. Alcohol is shitty poop garbage. But I still enjoy drinking. It's kind of nice sometimes. Cut the fucking edge off and not give a shit so much. Oh, was that me making that noise? Okay, and now we're back to the painting. Wait. Hey, even now lost, you deserve... Okay. Flamingos. Pretty. And fucking onions or apples. I don't... I don't know. They look like apples, I think. Uh... Oh, another flesh piece. Great. Oh, it's storing the information I've collected along the way. I see. Uh, it's an interesting way to store memos, I guess. Shapeless dreams. to close the ship? Why can't I close it? Okay, that was fucking weird. Crazy that used to be a job. People would just... Yeah, I, I saw that. What was that, Pyramid Head? Kind of looked like him. I guess this is trying to resemble the Silent Hill 3 scene, maybe a little tiny bit. I mean, with how much they nailed Silent Hill 2, I have to imagine they were all very fucking familiar with the franchise before making any of this shit. So I'm going to end up assuming that they use a lot of story elements from Silent Hill. God, these notes are obscenely long. Well, I could certainly understand that you were upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself. I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleague at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done this the best job. Best job possible, considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, 
and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife. Man, these people are so much nicer than me. I mean, I would have either just ignored the fuck or sent a scathing ass response. Because I'm an asshole. What? Did I just do that? Oh, I did, okay. I feel like they designed it that way so that you can end up scaring the shit out of yourself by accident. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Don't make me slap the shit out of you. <laughs> it's more what I was kind of expecting, but... Blorp. Squeak. So much squeakage. The sound design definitely is nowhere near as good as... Is that fire? Yeah, I think that's fire. Oh, it's coming from up here. Oh, it is fire. Oh. Are you gonna collapse the floor on me, or...? No. I mean, now I'm just expecting jump scares around every fucking corner. This dude definitely killed both his wife and his kid, then. And this literally is just inspired by PT, right? It's like basically that game, just with a slightly different story. It's an artist rather than whatever the fuck the dude in PT was. I'm genuinely really glad that Kojima didn't make a Silent Hill game, too, because it would have had nothing to do with the actual franchise. Following this compilation, the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. Oh, oh god, okay, who has schizophrenia? Me? Blank expression stares off into space. Oh man, that's what my fucking. my best friend became schizophrenic. And it, he was like 20. We were 20. He lived with me, and he used to do this. He would be, uh, I would catch him in the fucking kitchen. Literally just staring at the wall while he had like some shit in the toaster but didn't actually pop the toast down. Or it was like already toasted and he was just standing there blankly staring off. Not even looking at the toaster. He'd be just looking at the opposite wall and shit. It was fucking terrifying. Involuntary facial movements. I don't know if he had that. He definitely had insomnia. As do I. Unusual gestures or postures. Definitely. has. He always did that, though. Unable to experience joy from activities. Yeah. We both had that, though. Depersonalization. What does that mean? That means that you don't... Basically, what it says right here. You don't feel positive or negative about anything. You feel like you have no personal personality. Um, it's like you're dead inside. Awkward, clumsy movement. Yeah, he definitely had that. Prone to anger, resentment, definitely. But we both have that. Lack of motivation. Who doesn't have that, though? Suicidal tendencies. Yep, have that, too. Hmm. Yeah. That was, uh, it was pretty traumatic going through that shit. I mean, it was obviously more traumatic for him, 
but uh, he, he tried to kill himself twice while living at that house. And I ended up, he ended up uh, getting sent to a psych ward for like six months or something. And I used to go visit him at least once a week just to try and keep him connected to reality. Like, hey dude, you know, when you're out of here, I'm still your fucking bro. We're gonna still hang out and be friends and still love you. But yeah, no, I haven't spoken to him in years now, because shit just went way too south. Okay. What? One, six, five. Okay, clearly I need that for something. They really do not like using randomized numbers for codes, huh? I, I genuinely can't tell what those numbers are from here. Ten? Wait, what? Oh, it is ten, twenty. Okie dokie. Um, so what the fuck did that say? One seven something. Maybe? One six five, okay. One? Oh god damn it. The controls of this suck. Oh, okay, I can just They're reversed if you press the button. Okay, one. Six. There we go. Excellent. But yeah, they they didn't do it in the Silent Hill 2 remake at all either, which is a thing that is in the original Silent Hill 2, um, that most of the codes are randomized. Well, about half of them are. But not a single one is randomized in that remake, which is weird because it's super easy to do in Unreal Engine 5. Like, for any of the fancy like, shit that they do in the game to reveal some of the codes, it's really easy to just make that same effect on all the numbers and then just have it so it randomly picks one. I mean, I'm not that adept at Unreal Engine 5, and I know how to do that, so they definitely could have done it. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing, I won't lie, it drives me insane to not have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was probably berated for by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. That's not berated. That's... I know he means well, but how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. God, please, not this again. Ah, so he's an alcoholic. As I said, well, and is very clearly obvious by the amount of alcohol that you find scattered around. But, uh... Yeah, dude, schizophrenia ain't no fucking joke, though, man. That, that shit takes your soul away. And it's, it's really hard to deal with when it's your only friend, really. Like, my best childhood friend. I lost thanks to mental health bullshit. Okay, this I can actually see now. If only I could hop up on this fucking chair. And of course it covers Ethiopia. If Abyssinia was visible, I would... Wait. So yeah, Uganda exists. So this is like 1960s, 1970s minimum. And, yeah, this is post-World War II, absolutely. I mean, obviously, because all the other shit I pointed out, but Ecuador had more than that. Like, there was more of Ecuador prior to World War II. Peru and Ecuador went to war. And they, uh, Peru took some of Ecuador's territory. 
Let's see. Like Burma's there, Vietnam's there. Yeah, like Kenya. Kenya, I don't think, existed until like 1971 or something. Tanzania. Like, this is all decolonized. Wait a minute. Is that Democratic Republic of Congo? No, that's Congo Brazzaville, right? Or whatever. I can't fucking tell. Yeah, it's Congo Brazzaville. Okay, so it's prior to Democratic Republic of Congo. Hmm. Which, again, yeah, I think dates this game at around the 60s, then. At the latest, or earliest, or whatever. Well, I wasn't... what the fuck? I was not expecting that. Oh, it's all dirty now. Oh, I kind of figured I would have to go back through here. Oh, you can't. Okay. No undone? What? This effect kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 3. The Session 8 part. Or Session 9. I always fuck up the name of that movie. Yeah, that's cool. It's actually remnant, uh, reminiscent of, there's a paint, a painter who did, used to do, like, hellscapes of real life. I don't know who it was, but they're really cool looking. That's probably one of his actual paintings. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play Oh, it's with? a cat collar. I just bought us a oh, dog. Oh, it is a dog. Okay. Dog <laughs> color. Okay. Aww. What an asshole. You know how you wanted a cat? I got us a dog, which is like the opposite thing. What a douchebag. Why not compromise and just not get anything? You want this as well? What does that mean? Spooky. Oh, hello. The chair followed me. See what I mean? Like, they did it once, so I'm already just expecting that shit. Anytime I move around a corner now, I'm like, yeah, there might be something behind me, so... I'm just going to assume there is. I mean, maybe this shit gets people who aren't, like, familiar? Isn't that Vincent Van Gogh? Maybe? Or like, um, a combination of like three different people? I don't know. <gasps> oh, who would have thought? Whoa! Ooh! Rat! Spooky! I do remember that record player thing, though. So I... Maybe that was where I stopped playing. I don't know. Okay. Does that scare people? Ooh, stuff got thrown at me, even though this game has no combat, so like... I'm not expecting enemies to come and attack me. It's like, none of that really matters. Oh, it opened. Peekaboo! Some of the camera effects definitely remind me of Amnesia, The Dark Descent, too. Which I didn't really play much, but... Because that's another one of those games that I feel is just like... I don't know. It's just not fun to play. 
Like, it's tedious as fuck. Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him, too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible. What's irresponsible? Drinking? Or leaving bottles around the house? I mean, he had them hidden so that they wouldn't be found. So what's bad about that? Clearly he was trying to keep them hidden. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, well, should I go this way first? Ooh, it melted. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Oh. Is that why I limp? That's why I'm limping. Because I am the dude. Clearly. I mean, I assumed that, but now it definitely is confirmed. I didn't really think about that. Oh, yep. This. Okay, so I must have stopped playing after this. Because I was just like, dude, this game is boring as shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I remember really just finding this shit boring as hell. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Uh, what? What is strenuous about playing the violin? I mean, it, it can be, but you can also play it nice and relaxingly too, right? Just like guitar? Right? Maybe? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I've never played violin. But it certainly seems like, you know, any instrument you can play it nice and relaxingly as well. Good God. Like, I did like this. Um, I thought it was kind of a cool concept. And this would work a lot better in Unreal Engine 5. Because you can very seamlessly make the textures actually fade into other textures in a way that looks really cool. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it. <laughs> oh, oh, that makes me want to puke just and thinking put the tube about that. In the jar and it just kept coming. Uh, the taste of copper haunted me the entire night why didn't i think of a syringe yeah why didn't you think of a syringe what the fuck kind of psychotic shit is that to do what the fuck pumping out blood like it's goddamn gasoline that's psychotic i mean clearly that's the whole story here is it's all psycho but what the fuck Because, yeah, now it turns back, right? <laughs> it's cool, though. Like, I like the effect. It's well done. I do commend them for that. And it's an interesting little set piece. <coughs> I don't want to just shit on the game. <coughs> um, but yeah, it's it's not my... Not my thing, per se. This is a different hallway, right? 
Oh, yep, yeah, it is. Brought me back to here. I'm curious how difficult these kind of effects would have been to make for Unity. But I have a feeling that was probably just literally an animated texture that they pre-animated. Oh, okay. So I'm unveiling this dude's fucking psychopathy. This does have a lot of similar vibes to Visage, too. But then Visage is also heavily inspired by PT, which I have a feeling this is as well, so... I mean, clearly it's inspired by PT. Heavily. And PT's cool. I just hate that it's a Silent Hill thing, because it has nothing to fucking do with Silent Hill. Aside from the fact that it's once again ripping off Silent Hill 2, like every other game that came after Silent Hill 4. That shit is annoying as fuck. Right. Creator's block? Okay. Don't forget, June 9th. I fucking hate the month of June. June sucks. My mom was born and died in June. Oh. Wait. Hey, am I in an entirely different room now? I think I am, right? Huh. Okay. Once again, that wasn't scary. I don't know why that was necessary. September 15th. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Okay. I'm always trying to pull the doors rather than push them. <clears throat> wow, that's kind of cool looking. This would have actually been a really annoying 3D model to make. <laughs> You'd have to get like six different books and then just fucking sit there and copy paste them a million times. Man, this totally feels like Visage now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Which way do we go? Oh, okay. I guess I have to go this way. Yeah, I don't... <clears throat> I don't really remember any of this. It also kind of reminds me of what happened to Edith Finch, or whatever that game was called. It's kind of a cool game. I really got to start opening those the other way. I don't know why I'm always... I do remember this part too. Yeah, this was where I think I stopped playing. Because I was like, okay, this truly is just trying to be PT in the most goddamn egregious way possible. <coughs> Another fucking quack. If I'm to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. I'm really glad they didn't add a bunch of swearing in Silent Hill 2. 
That would have pissed me off. Because that's just a culturally non-Japanese thing. Like, people don't swear in Japan, really. Ah, oh, maybe I should read this. If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you referred to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. Well, I'm ashamed of my PTSD, so fuck you. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. <coughs> I mean, I've struggled with PTSD for years now. It ain't fun. No joy to be had. Should I just go backwards? I feel like I should. How? Oh. What? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? What fire? fire. Oh, God. God. Is she... Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. Okay. Well, I didn't expect her to be burnt and shit. I mean, I kind of figured the mental health stuff was enough. Restless memories. Ah. Restless Dreams was the subtitle of the Xbox version of Silent Hill 2. Fuck you. Fucking slam the door on me, weird, sketchy, whatever the fuck that was, because I opened it at a bad angle. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I didn't see anything, really. <clears throat> oh, I, okay, I do remember this shit, too. The upside down furniture. I think I remember this. This feels familiar. I didn't think I played this that long though. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Flapping horror, be quiet. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Cool. I do feel like there's a lot of anachronistic shit, though. <clears throat> I mean, the map automatically is definitely wrong. There's no way the map is accurate to the actual time period that this takes place. What? I don't... I don't understand. Oh, hey, it's the elevator again. No. Oh. I 
was right. It is the other way now. My finger is itchy. Oh, I didn't realize you could zoom in. Spooky. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while. Come on. The social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. I fucking hate the legal system. A husband in mourning. A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option considering what you've been through lately. I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. Too many uses of the word good, but not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I guess it was just my footsteps I was hearing. Spooky shadow. Oh, it's not a shadow, it's a... It's a wall. God, pick a direction for the doors, you fucks. I finally got used to pushing them open. Jesus. This kind of reminds me of the labyrinth. In Silent Hill 2. The new one, not the old one. Silent floaters. So you drowned your child in the tub, I'm guessing. <coughs> what? We got some forest temple action going. Or, uh, <clears throat> the intro to Majora's Mask. Yeah, I do. I feel like I remember this, too. Doesn't everything start floating in here? God, I was right. So I have played up to here. So magical, so pretty. Am I supposed to go up here? Like, I can barely see shit. Oh, 
guess maybe that's where I came from. I already forget. <clears throat> yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Can't fucking see anything, dude. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Uh huh. Fun. I can't fucking see anything, dude. I am blind. Hobble your ass up the stairs, homie. Oh, okay, we're back again. Did it not add the bone shit? Where's... Is, is, shouldn't the bone thing be in one of these now? But yeah, I guess he's using blood to paint. That's cool. That's what normal people do. Gotta make your art special somehow, dude. Oh, okay. It adds it there. <clears throat> I'm really curious how much farther I got in this. Oh. Hi. Interesting. So I guess we're going to be talking about the kid now, huh? Drunk. And again, it's just this shitty fucking generic font that you would get from DaFont or like Font 1001 or whatever. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Doggy! Oh, cool, evil. Evil asshole kills dog. I'm lying on something really painful. What the hell? I just realized that. Ow. Whoa! Teddy bear! Wow, that sound effect was horrible garbled to shit and it ended too early <laughs> hello oh hey Silent Hill 4 reference it's probably not obviously but you know it reminds me of the room Marriage guide. Kids in marriage. Uh, sure. So glad I am never getting married or having kids. Pregnant broccoli eating woman. Oh. Okay. Once again, it wasn't scary. It's was just kind of weird. Is in the middle. What the fuck is this? It's the chandelier, I'm guessing, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Lice mice. <laughs> what? Is it supposed to be spooky? I don't want the lice mice to get me, homie. No way. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of a cool effect, honestly. I hate the sound of heartbeats, though. It genuinely fucks with me. Oh, I got a secret something, I'm guessing. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I need some of those tokens for something. Oh, it's for playing fucking chess, dude. What is this nonsense? <clears throat> chess is such a stupid game. It's only good if you're like eight years old at the most. Just too basic. Play fucking checker or er, chess. You beat me again. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. <laughs> Good thing we didn't bet on it. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Um. Alright. Well. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Okay. The hell? So yeah, that's some PTS shit right there. And I got an achievement, but it didn't pop up. Unless it was on the left side of the screen. I just realized I can't actually see all the way to the left. <clears throat> this game did come out in 2016, though. And older games do have issues with achievements sometimes. Since I don't think they even had those notifications that long ago. I don't know, they've changed the achievement system a few times. <clears throat> and I think how games utilized it changed at different points in time. So sometimes it just fucks it up. Um... Oh, good. More Disney magic. <clears throat> like, and again, you know, like, this is cool. This would be cool for, like, one of your first horror games. As a kid and shit. But it's too haunted house, spooky mansion. I don't know. Hello. Uh -oh. Hello, little child. Child that I probably killed and stole his blood and bones. Alright. Doll heads. Okay. That sound effect also stopped playing too early. Didn't fade out, it just cut. <clears throat> okay. More spooky doll. I don't know if I remember this. I don't know if I've been this far. Hey, it's a little miniature house. It's kind of cool. I've always loved miniatures. I love Warhammer 40k and shit for that reason. I used to have a ton of Warhammer shit. And I sold it all so I could afford rent. It was really wonderful. I did the same thing with Magic the Gathering. I had like literally thousands of dollars worth of cards. And I had to sell them all 
so I could afford food and rent. I was also just sick of owning literally boxes of cards that I was never using, though. <clears throat> Is he a jester now? Oh, creepy little doll. I have s I've heard that sound effect in so many different horror games. I wonder where that sound effect comes from. Oh, they're doing the Jacob's Ladder shit. Shaky head. Shaky limbs. Shaky limbs! I mean, it's just goofy looking when it's a doll. Oh, you know what? No, I did make it here. I'm supposed to just follow this child? Fuck you. Going this way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you have that in a horror game? Is it supposed to cut the tension? That is hilarious, dude. <laughs> okay. Good job, retard. <laughs> I'm assuming it's to, like, kind of get you lulled into a false sense of security. Sure. Yeah, this game's really ridiculous. I don't know. It's got interesting design and shit, though. And, like, for a company's first fucking horror game, like, this is well made. It's just not scary to me, because I've played... I mean, I grew up playing Silent Hill, so... Yeah, this is just a little goofy. A little too silly. It's copying too many elements of Silent Hill and shit, too. Like the shakiness. I don't know if they've even seen Jacob's Ladder. But <clears throat> that shit's creepy when it's a human. When it's a doll, it just looks fucking silly, dude. That's literally like a scene out of typical shitty horror movies and games. Really silly, man. Oh, should I be scared right now? I feel like I'm walking through a shitty small town's idea of a horror haunted house thing. I do try not to shit on this kind of stuff too much, though, because, like, I also don't know... I've been wanting to and working on various video games over the last few years. Um, now that I've been learning Unreal Engine 5 and Blender and shit. And, uh, I don't know how hard it'll be to create an atmosphere that's actually scary. Like, I won't be relying on jump scares, so it's going to be entirely just whatever atmosphere I can make. I love sound design, and I love music composition shit, so that's how I'm going to create the atmosphere in horror, is just through audio, basically. <clears throat> and then, you know, disturbing designs and shit, but... Um, 
I have a thing. Does that go on one of the toys? Seems like a wind-up thing, right? I assume that's what that is. I, I didn't even pay attention to what I picked up, honestly. Oh, it probably goes on this. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I don't think I made it this far. Why am I following this in circles? I did used to have hardcore nightmares of my toys coming to life when I was a kid, thanks to Toy Story <laughs> and uh, Small Soldiers. I hated that shit, man. I've only had uh, sleep paralysis like twice in my life. This is so goofy and lame. It's like a straight up copy of that lame ass trailer for Downpour. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Is that supposed to be scary? It just looks silly. Okay. Hush, little baby, the night is stark. Like Tony Stark? Stars fade above you, the room goes dark. Oh, is it gonna go dark now? <laughs> this shit is really goofy. Mama used to come to tuck you in. Oh, it's getting closer. Now she's nowhere to be seen. That doesn't rhyme. Why, why did that last line not rhyme with the third line? That's kind of a cool looking thing. I have a feeling these paintings are actually just swiped though. <laughs> They're like actual old paintings that have just been used for creepy effect. Am I just leaving? No. This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. I guess I could believe that this took place in the 50s or 60s or whatever. Kind of. I mean, even the 90s houses were pretty fucking old, <laughs> shitty looking. Okay. Got some giant Eileen type shit from Silent Hill 4. looking painting. Okay, I can see these actually being legitimate paintings that they made in like Krita or some shit. Or, you know, Illustrator or whatever the fuck. Two more for this section. Hmm, I might have seen this part too, but I don't remember that last part with the kids' room, so...
Going in circles. I sure am. Thanks for pointing it out. Does feel a little bit silly. Spooky rocking chair. Oh, fuck you, light. Easy to forget, drunk, delirious. The this shit is just, man. It's a little too heavy handed with the fucking messaging. I'd always rather something be too ambiguous to where I have to go watch a fucking YouTube video to figure it out. Rather than be way too heavy handed with the story and shit. He's on about the damn rats again. I don't think I've even seen one, but that doesn't stop him from laying out traps all over the place. He claims he can hear them in the wells and that there must be hundreds of them. God, I fucking hope it's true. I hope they crawl out at night and eat you in your sleep. <laughs> Sounds like some shit I would say to my biological father. Make up your mind. Okay. Nate, what are you doing? I know you want to come and just fuck shit up. Your purring doesn't really add a lot of horror to the uh, the atmosphere here, buddy. Actually, your purring is probably going to get picked up on the mic because you're right next to it. why they keep doing that. I mean, it wasn't scary the first time it happened, so... <clears throat> I don't know why it was not scary at all, either. You'd think a fucking hardcore jump scare cut like that would be kind of startling, at least. But not really. I am sitting here in complete pitch black, too, at like midnight. And my cat, Midnight, just happens to be hanging out right here. Such a cute little fellow. Yes, buddy. I know. I know you want attention. I will give you attention in a minute, because I'm probably done playing this very soon here. I would normally walk through shit, too, in a horror game on my first try, but... It's like, it's really not changing the atmosphere. I've been doing it in certain rooms, but like, I, I just want to see what happens now. I am probably going to cut this soon though. Cat, dog, rat. Do you seriously want me to do one of... Obviously, it, it, that's... Not an actual solution, right? Because this shit is incomprehensible. That, wait, that loops back around into itself. So it's this one. One. Two, 
cool. Seven. That is a one. That's two. Correct. Seven. Does it show you the order of the numbers? Somewhere? That was all the combinations that it could have been, I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> if it was those three numbers. Um, cat, dog, rat. Why, why is there a, an actual picture of a dog, but nothing else? Um... I have no fucking idea. Or I'm just like not seeing this properly. Wait. That one goes to five. One five seven. Um, you know what? This is probably long enough. Oh my god, that's almost two hours. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, yeah. Well, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing this, but I wanted to at least experience all their games and experience at least a couple hours <clears throat> of each of them. But I've heard the Observer is really good, so that's probably what I'm going to play next. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. This is interesting. I just don't find it scary, and I don't find it fun or interesting enough to really care enough to continue <laughs> so but hey it's it's interesting definitely good for a first attempt um but yeah thanks for watching